Good evening, math friends. Tonight's lesson is lesson 2.9, multi-step multiplication problems. We are going to be working on page 39 of your Go Math book. So make sure you return to that page with me and write down the essential question for tonight. The essential question is, how can you use the draw the diagram strategy to solve multi-step problems. Go ahead and pause the video so you can write down the essential question. And when you're ready to begin, press play. All right, let's look at number one. Number one has already been solved for us, but we're going to see how did they solve this problem. It reads, a community park has six tables with a chessboard painted on top. Each board has eight rows of eight squares. When a game is set up, four rows of eight squares on each board are covered with chess pieces. If a game is set up on each table, how many total squares are not covered by chess pieces? So the first step to solve a multi-step problem is that we need to draw a diagram. Now they have drawn the diagram here already for us. So they have their eight rows of eight eight squares, so I've got my eight rows going down and eight squares in each row. Now, they also have that when the game is set up, remember, four rows of eight squares on each board are covered with chess pieces. So that's the shaded parts here. So we have one, two, three, four rows with eight pieces eight squares that are covered with chess pieces. Now remember, our question is asking us how many squares are not covered by chess pieces? So if we look at our diagram, that's the shade, non-shaded area. So we have one, two, three, four rows of eight squares that are not shaded. So that's four times eight, which gives us 32 squares on each table are not covered by chess pieces. Well, remember, it says that there are six tables that we need to find how many are not covered by chess pieces. So this is only one. We need to take our 32 and we need to multiply that by six tables. So we can find out how many total squares are not covered by the chess pieces. So as you can see, friends, I have already set up my box model because I needed to do a box model for 32 times six. And I've written my partial products down in my box model and now they're written underneath my vertical problem. So now I'm getting ready to add. So zero plus two is two, eight plus one is nine, and one plus zero is one. So how many total pieces are not covered by chess pieces? We have 192 squares. And that is our final answer. Make sure that you have this problem solved with me in your Go Math book under question number one along with the box model. And let's go on to the next problem. All right, let's look at number two. It says Jonah and his friends go apple picking. Jonah fills five baskets. Each basket holds 15 apples. If four of Jonah's friends pick the same amount as Jonah, how many apples do Jonah and his friends pick in all? We're going to draw a diagram to solve the problem. Now, when we solve multi-step problems, they are solved in steps. So the first step is that we have to find out how many apples Jonah picks. So we're gonna use a diagram to help us figure that out. It says that Jonah fills five baskets. So we're going to draw five baskets. One, two, three, four, five. 
and in each basket there's 15 apples. So we're going to put our 15 apples in each basket. Now my first step is to figure out well how many apples is this? So I would need to say 5 times 15 to figure out how many apples Jonah picks. Now I used my box model to help me find out what 5 times 15 was and I've got 75. So that's step one. We had to figure out how many apples Jonah picks but remember the question is asking us how many apples do Jonah and his friends pick in all? Well, he's got four of his friends. So now what we need to do is figure out if Jonah and his friends pick the same amount, which is 75, how many apples would that be? Well, Jonah and his friends, that equals five friends. So we're going to be multiplying five times the 75 apples. Now I have had to multiply 5 times 75. I have my box model here and I'm getting ready to add my partial products 350 plus 25 so I can find my final product and that gives me 375 apples. So how many apples do Jonah and his friends pick in all? They pick 300 75 apples in all. All right, let's look at number three. Number three says, there are six rows of 16 chairs set up for thir the third grade play. In the first row, first four rows, two chairs on each end are reserved for teachers. The rest of the chairs are for students. How many chairs are there for students? Now let's go and see if we can set up our diagram. Well, we know that there are six rows of 16 chairs set up. So what I've done here is I have a grid and I have six rows of 16 chairs. So boys and girls, I want you to just draw a big rectangle since you don't have any grid paper available. I want you to draw a big rectangle and we're going to write down the side that we have six rows of 16. Now we're going to also look at the problem and finish what it says in our diagram. It says that in the first four rows, two chairs on each end are reserved for teachers. So we know in the first four rows, there are two chairs on each end for teachers. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. So I have my first four rows and two chairs on each end for my teachers. So now my question is asking how many chairs are there for students? So first thing is I need to figure out how many chairs there are all together, which would be my six rows of 16. So I need to do a multiplication problem and figure out what 16 times 6 is. Well, I'm going to set up my box model for that. Okay, I know that there are 96 chairs all together. Well, uh, now I need to figure out, well, how many chairs did we set aside for the teachers? Well, I know that there are four rows with two in each row on each end. So if this section here, four rows of two, well that gives me eight. And another four rows of two, that gives me another 
8. And 8 plus 8 is 16. So the 16 chairs are set up for the teachers. Going back to our problem, the problem was not asking how many chairs are for teachers, it's asking how many chairs are there for students. So those are all the chairs that are not being used by the teachers, so all the rest of the chairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 96 total chairs and our 16 chairs for the teachers and we are going to subtract 16 chairs from 96 and that will give me what is left for the students. So 96 minus 16 gives us 80 chairs for the students. So we had to do quite a bit of steps. We had to find out how many total chairs there were. Then we had to find out how many chairs there were for teachers. And then we had to subtract. So that is a multi-step problem that we use a diagram to solve. And we had to do different operations to find the final answer. All right, friends, for homework tonight, you are only working on numbers one and two on page 40. Now remember, you're going to have to draw a diagram or a picture to help you solve these two problems, and you're going to have to do more than one operation for each of the problems. So do your very best, and we will check these tomorrow in class, and we'll go over each question together. Don't forget to assess yourself. Tell me if you are a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert after watching the video tonight. Have a great night, friends, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.